Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Okami. In the last episode, we got here to the depressing northern frigid land of Kamui and found out that the demons are going to try to turn this place into an icy tomb by unleashing blizzards on the land. In this episode, going right over here, we have Yoichi! Yoichi seems to have just fleen here. I fleen? Fleed here after we found him in Ryojima Coast. So, he's going to offer us an apple once more. And, as you might have guessed, we gave him a fire arrow, then we gave him an arrow covered in pee this time. Let's see if I can do the lightning bolt. Can I? Please? Um, I think I missed my chance. Okay, I did. Alright, go and shoot your arrow. You drag the lightning to it. And there we go! You got the electric arrow! I don't know. <laughs> but, that shows us where the guardian sapling in this area is that'll help us get rid of that curse zone! It's being struck by lightning. This can't be a coincidence. It doesn't seem like a curse either. This must be fate. This has to be a sign from the gods. My destiny to live and die with my arrows. All this time I've been saying I wanted to go do big things, but it was really just traveling so I could have an easy life. Now I see there's no such thing as an easy path. Not when you devote yourself to mastering one thing. The gods have shown me my true path. The path of archery. Time for me to stop being so whimsical. My real journey starts here and now. Never forget the bolt for you. If we ever meet again, let's share a few apples together. For all my friends. And we end up sharing a few apples without him as he runs off. The apple guy is gone. The apple guy! <laughs> Yoichi, the Apple Guy, is based on Steve Jobs! <laughs> Not really. Uh, Yoichi is based on a character from mythology by the same name, uh, and his story is very, very similar. I don't know the name of the story, though. I wish I'd go into more detail, though, but trust me, he's based on something from mythology, but... Anyway. Oh my golly gee willikers, that was amazing. I don't know why now I have a southern accent. First, everyone in ancient Japan has a southern accent, now I do all of a sudden. Oh well, let's just see what's over here real quick. What do we got? To the dojo. We want to be going here first, because at the dojo... I don't know why I'm now suddenly talking like... Like something I've never heard. Um... We want to go to the dojo for a few reasons. There's some really, really important stuff we want to grab there. Uh, first off, we have these yellow demon scrolls. If you have power slash two, you can't do a darn thing about it. I think uh, fire burst can hurt him now. You can, so, oh, yep, okay. So if you have elemental attacks, you can still send yellow demon scrolls, but unfortunately, I don't think anything else can. Uh, fire, need fire, there we go. Let's see what's in this. It is more crap we can sell. Yay. It looks like she's like gonna dive right in the chest. She's like, yay, go in. <laughs> oh well. Uh, let's look at the map right about here. I. Oh, the dojo is... seems I've turned around. I will say, right at the bat, I don't like comedy. I like the music here a lot. It's really, really cool. But I really just don't like the layout of this place very much. It's not as easy to navigate. Things just look so similar. Uh. I think right here is where is the uh, chest that we want. This should contain a stray bead. Indeed it does! And I auto jump. If you power slash this mound of snow, power slash it again, and again, you get a Nisu nice uh, snow sculpture. Nice sculpture. Uh, you can potentially also get an Amaterasu or a Sakuya from that, but yeah, it's just kind of one little patch of snow that can turn into something. Anyway, here in the dojo, we have the Onigiri Sensei. Can you just pick a dojo and stick with it? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. And he has new skills for you. He has hard head, which I would definitely recommend picking up. Uh, you can now break objects. Uh, you can now break things like rocks without having to use power slash. You can just tackle them. And he does like stereotypical Japanese martial arts. And he's like, ah, woo! And then he goes, Inshina Gogo, -go, baby!
Okay, so we are mentally prepared to start smashing our head against rocks. We need to be mentally prepared if we're going to be doing that. Mentally prepared to start taking some brain damage. And I'm just going to skip ahead of all this, though, because it's very self-explanatory. Yes, I understand the explanation that I didn't even read. And we get the technique scroll. And all we do is... Well, I'll just hit him, I guess. All we do is that now we have the ability to tackle rocks and break them with our skull. I always get told I have a thick skull, and this proves it. Other techniques, uh, Fleet Foot still don't recommend though because you swing the nunchuck to dodge and it's not very reliable. Uh, counter dodge, uh, this is kind of nice if you're playing the PS2 version because you do damage whenever you dodge. Holy Falcon is really cool. Your double jump now has the ability to do damage. I'm going to be buying that. Uh, you can now add another hit onto your combo for each of your weapons. I'm going to be buying all those. Uh, these three right here are kind of cool. Wailing Mirror, Beat String, and Swords Dance. If you have the same type of weapon equipped on both of your weapon slots, they do more damage. Unfortunately, I really don't fight using those, though, so I'm not going to be buying these. Uh, Golden Fury. You can get Demon Fangs by pressing the C button to insult your foes. The way that you insult them is entertaining, to say the least. So I'm going to be buying all these skills that I said I was going to buy, and I'll be back in just a moment. As Super Skarmory would say, okay, so... Uh, now that we are done with all that, um, I only bought two skills, like I said, that were not combo razors. Uh, if you go over here, we have Kokati. Uh, we're talking... He's talking to my butt! <laughs> and, yeah, Kokati's out here. If you want to play a fishing minigame, if you want to get money, uh, you can go here anytime. And he's like, alright, I've seen a lot of Nippon's greater doors. The vast I see a combo is far harsher than the environment elsewhere. For myself equal to the harsh wilderness here, maybe I can become a real man like Susato. Ah, uh, all true warriors strive to be like Susano. And when I hold it in my hands, I can hear Mother Nature herself speak. Alright, so how about some fishing, just like old times? I want to show you how I can do. If you want to watch them fish, I'm just going to say not now, because I really don't need the money. But you can get some nice fish from that, sell for a lot of money. Anyway, like I said, two brush, two brush things. Two techniques that I bought that were not combo razors. There's Holy Eagle. Well, Holy Falcon, I mean. Uh, let me get into a battle so I can show off these two techniques really quick. Alright, so as you can see when I jump now, I got this red swirling vortex of death around me. It does a little bit of damage. It's not really a viable method of attacking. And I believe we have a new enemy right here. Another Nagahame that we haven't caught yet. Uh, just power slash all those. And, wow, I accidentally killed one! Uh, and now, for that other move, Golden Fury. You know how it says that you insult the enemies to steal demon fangs from them? Guess how you steal them. You run over to them, you pee on them, they get freaked out, and they drop items. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Uh, that right there, a lot of people have debated if a Matarasu is a male because of the way that she urinates on the enemies. However, white alpha wolves urinate the same way if they're male or female, though, so that kind of debunks that if she's based on a white alpha wolf. Uh, some people have also debated that because she shows attraction to female characters in the game, she's male or possibly homosexual, though, but um, according to Capcom, the gods in this game are genderless. They just associate themselves with a gender, so she's neither male nor female, nor gay, nor straight, so yeah. So according to Capcom's official statement, she's none of those things. Uh, this house, I believe, has importance later on. It's going to have a monster contract that we can do to get a uh, another, well... A hit list, rather, that we could use to get another gold dust, but for now, nothing really here. So, we're just going to continue on our merry way. And by merry way, I mean a way where a lot of enemies get in our way and we're forced to fight to the death. Igloo Turtles! I like this idea for an enemy. I think it's really cool. Um, what you have to do is, you just got to pound on them for a little while. And, well, actually, I think if you have Fire Burst, they're a bit easier. What you're supposed to do is pound them for a while, then they get stunned, the lantern and their tail lights up, and then, yeah, you can do stuff. Uh, definitely using Mist on these guys is, a, is effective, though, because they can't really do much, and you're able to wail on them enough to get their, you know, to get their fire up. And once their fire's up, you can then stop time, and you can just wail the crap out of that person inside it that is giving you so much trouble. And, yeah, okay do that. Let's, uh, use fire on it. Whoa! That did a lot. It's dead already? Whoa! And I even got the floral finisher! Man! That was cool! Well, for him, it was the opposite of cool. No, I'm just kidding. 
Uh, can't have a video without making a terrible pun. Just go over here and open this up. I don't think Hardhead will work on, you know, iron rocks, though. It's supposed to work on normal breakable rocks, but of course if a rock's not supposed to be breakable, it's, you know. And I drew a dot. How is that stopping time? Man. Over here, we have a merchant. And I get to show off something here that I haven't gotten the chance to show yet. These Oena, who have these masks on them that allow them to turn into wolves, uh, they have something really cool about them that is unique to them and no other characters in the game. I think I'm just going to go buy nine of these, I guess. I don't really need them, though, but I guess I could buy them. I'm going to go ahead and sell all my treasures, because I haven't done that in a little while. I haven't done it since uh, Pony Island, and I can do that now. All right, not bad. Wow, I didn't know Kutani Pottery was worth that much. Oh, well. But what I was saying was, you can draw a circle around any of the Oena, and it turns them into their wolf form. I thought that was really cool. You can draw circles around uh, any other human in the game, and it'll make them walk over and pet the Matarasu. I haven't shown that yet, though, because I just didn't really think of it during recording until now. But, yeah, I always thought that was kind of cool. Just go over here and dig this crap up. And I have to say, this over here, Oh boy, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting to see me do this. But this is it. We're doing it. Okay, we have a Nirvana hole. You might be thinking, ah, Nirvana hole, what's so bad about that? I mean, you know, we get to hear you make a really, really stupid innuendo every time. But, you know, that's not so bad. Oh, well, believe me, it is bad. For more reason than just my weird terminology of calling things. Pop coffee saying, deflowering the Pikmin. <laughs> But, yeah, this, you see a blockhead right there. And again, you're probably just going like, how the hell did I do win? No, you're not going, why the hell did I do win? You guys are probably going like, what's so dangerous about a freaking blockhead? And yeah, your guys' voice is all cracked up. Anyway, I'll just stop beating around the bush and just walk up to him. I am blockhead. I guard this place so none shall, so shall pass. I mean, that none shall pass. All right. White demon of death, finally you've come this far. In the name of the Blockhead Clan, I, Blockhead Grand, strongest of our clan, rise up to stop you. Blockhead Grand. He knows of our deadly skills, maybe the end of my brethren. Get this. He says his body is hard as steel. I defy to find it. you to find any way where it's going. Strike me rock hard. Okay, that's it. Be our pleasure, but let me ask you. I'd be never take on the offensive. The Blockhead Clan never resorts to such boorish attacks. Take the beating, then dish it out! That's the clan's philosophy. Now, the talk is over. Come, strike me if you dare. Check out how many weak points this guy has. Yeah. Not gonna come easy. I think I... Yeah, I don't know. I hope I got this. If I do this in one try, that'll be amazing, but nah, I think that one's wrong. Yeah, I was wrong, and you have to do them in the correct order, too. Um, you can be cheap on this and just record a video of it, even if you're using a camera, just so long as you can see it at all, and then what you do is you just press the Wii Home button in between, uh, you know, filling them in, and that's a really easy way to do this if you're playing on the Wii. If you're playing on the PS2, it's not quite as easy, though, but I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead to my successful attempt. Oh, I missed. Uh... <laughs> <coughs> Japan! What do you want from me? How many attempts that took? To be honest, I'll be dead honest with you guys. I don't ever lie. I was at this for like 15 minutes and then I just gave up and used my droid to record it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't take anymore, okay? And you guys got lots of funny outtakes. Or kind of funny outtakes, or what I sadly consider funny outtakes. But for doing that, he gives you three treasure chests. See that epic tale lives on forever. Aww, he soon. And we get a gold dust to upgrade our weapons, a stray bead, 
So yeah, if you want to get 100%, you're doing this and a silver pocket watch, which I believe sells for 30,000 yen. It is an awesome selling item, as you might have guessed from me telling you how much it is. But anyway, now that that incident of pure and utter rape is over, I think we're going to end this off here. So, next time on Okami, we are going to continue exploring the northern country of Kamui, now with our new moves in hand and having destroyed Blockhead Grand, okay? See you guys next time. Oh yeah, we also revived the Guardian Sapling in this area. That was kind of important to the progress of this episode. Okay, see you guys next time.